This is question three of the 2020 level two electricity exam. Question three. What do we got? So a plane with metal wings has one tip painted blue and the other tip painted red. Wind spans 68.4 meters. The plane is flying horizontally at 850 kilometers per hour, which yeah, sounds about right. Um, in a region where the Earth's magnetic field is vertical, so above the North or South Pole, um, and has a strength of 40 micro Tesla. Um, I wonder what that is, hold on. Electric field's going down because there's crosses, um, which means that's the North to South, it's the magnetic South Pole, which is, okay, so it's flying above the geographical North Pole. Pretty sure that's correct. Um, anyway, uh, show the voltage induced in the wings is 6.46. So we have the magnetic field, that's B, we have the velocity, where it's little v, um, and we have the length that's cutting through. Um, so the only formula that has those in it is v equals big V, little v, L, and that's a vector. Uh, little velocity is vector, length is scalar. Vector? Scalar. Can't remember. Um, doesn't matter. 40 times 10 to the 6, negative 6, um, times velocity is 2, you've got to use... 236 meters per second because we're going to use you're going to have to use SI units um, and the length is 68 meters 68.4 meters and that is equal to uh, 0.645696 so we got it does equal 0.646 uh, wait 64569 which equals 0 0.646 volts 3SF. Just double check, 333. Three, three. Okay, cool, so we can use 3SF. Otherwise, it would be like any other time where they've written exams and they haven't done it to the correct 3SF. Um, anyway, so complete the following table. Assume each change is made to the original plane separately. Okay, so they're not all happening at once. Um, so the speed of the plane increases, the effect of the size on the induced voltage. So if it increases um, the speed of the plane, I mean the voltage is going to increase. So it's going to increase. Um, plane is flying the opposite direction at the same speed. Um, it's going to be constant. So this is just the size, so this is constant, constant slash no change um, it's only asking the size then ask the direction so we'll not worry about it plane climbs vertically up from the earth okay so this is a little bit tricky because I mean if you have the field lines that are like this um, oh, whoops, I need to move that up a little bit so the field lines, and ordinarily the plane would cut straight through them like that. And the distance, this distance D, from field line to field line, um, will give you your induced voltage. However, if you're cutting up them, this distance um, from one field line to another field line is actually increased because of the hypotenuse of the triangle. So I would say it's going to decrease. Um, Pretty sure there's a question maybe two years ago where a cyclist went up a hill and it had the voltage induced across the handlebars. Maybe that was last year. Um, I mean, I think they, they in the answer schedule they they um, allow for both. But I mean, it would probably it depends how hard how like fast it's climbing. If it's like a super fast, I mean, a seven three seven they can climb what eight seven hundred feet per minute. Um, when they're cruising, right, which wingtip is positive, sweet, so the right hand slap rule is what I normally do, because what I do is I look at individual electrons, um, so electrons are negative, so they come out of the back of your hand, like positron, well not positive, positive charges, you're just talking about ele like electricity, so positive charges come out of the, your palm, so we have our hand into the page, the plane is moving that way, I can't even move my hand, okay, sort of can, um, magnetic field lines, your fingers, they're going into the page, the thumb is the direction of the velocity, it's going to the right, so if I sort of move the page up, I can see that when the plane is going to the right, um, it's going to be the left, oh wait, hold on, ah, oh, this is, hold on, which is red and which is blue, 
I mean, this is probably red. I must have paused. I've got a color version. I'm going to find out which is what. Right, in the description, the link to the actual exam has it in color. I just printed it not in color. So red is the, uh, the top tip. So it's going to be red. And then it's going to swap because it's going to go the opposite direction. So it's going to be, hold on. Plane is flowing in opposite direction at the same speed. Well, it doesn't even matter because if it's still, it doesn't matter which way it goes to the field, it's still cutting. The field hasn't flipped its direction. So, I mean, it's going to be red again. Um, and so, hold on, wait. Vertically upwards from the earth. Ah, oh, I might have messed this up actually. So, if it's climbing vertically upwards from the earth, yeah, this is a stupid question because this is assuming... I've, I've got the answers in front of me. This is assuming that it's just going straight up like that. And no plane, no 737 can do that. Like, none that I know. Um, so if it's climbing straight up, in reality, it would still be red. But, I mean, if it's climbing vertically upwards from the earth, I mean, it's not cutting through any field lines whatsoever. So this could either be decrease, um, decrease or no voltage. This is an unrealistic question. Whoever wrote this exam should feel it. Nah, I don't feel Can't say that because I've started to write exams now and they're not easy to write. So, um, And this would be... Well, none, none. Because... None. Because neither one is going to be positive because it's going to have no voltage whatsoever. Yeah, I didn't read that question very well. Uh, but it's also an impossible question. Anyway, quickly. Um, we have... Inside the plane, you've got an electric feeder wire that runs under the floor of the cabin. The wire is connected to a 28 volt supply. It's got 5 ohms resistance. Calculate the current flowing. In the, if the current flowing in the direction shown on the wire, calculate the magnitude and state the direction of the force of the wire due to the Earth's magnetic, magnetic field. So you've got force is equal to the magnetic field times the current times the length which is equal to the magnetic field times the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance um, times the length, and that is going to be equal to 40 times 10 to the negative 6. 40 times 10 to the negative 6 times 28 over 5 times, and the length is 5.9. 5.9. And that is equal to 1.321. So it's just 1.32 times 10 to the negative 3, and it's Newtons. Sweet as. And now, what way is why is connected? So current is flowing to the right. The magnetic field is going down um, the page. So it's going to experience a force to the left. Um, so we'll just circle left um, and I figured that out because the magnetic field is going down the current's going that way um, so the force is out of your hands right hand slap rule um, so it's to the left and it's, this is for the flow of positive charges so this is experience this is a force that positive charges experience as if positive charges well you can't get positive charges at flow that's how your brain works because you get so many minds but anyway um, an engineer designs speed warning device that consists of a wire connected to the wingtips and a half volt lamp. The engineer states that the faster the plane goes, the brighter the lamp will glow. Use physics principles to explain and justify if and how this arrangement would work as a speed warning device. Um, right. So this is like a super common question. They ask it every year. Um, they have something going, some sort of loop going through a magnetic field and they ask... Um, can you use it to power anything? This is why, like, because the Earth spins inside... Oh, that's not a very good example. Anyway, um, assuming this is the same as the previous question, the red end, this is going to end up being positive, this is going to end up being negative. So all the positive charges get pushed to the top, all the negative charges get pushed to the bottom, um, and no matter what, you could never have... And in order for the current to flow, there needs to be a loop of wire outside the magnetic field. But because you're inside the Earth's magnetic field, you can't really get out of it. Um, so th there's no way you can ever get this to work. Um, 
at all. So this is like solar storms that hit our Earth. Um, I mean, they can never they can induce massive potentials, and they can create huge fluxes and uh, like increases or changes in voltage, but you can never really get any real work out of them um, because you can only get work out of the change in voltage and not the actual constant voltage that would be induced because you're cutting through the sun's magnetic field. Um, anyway, I'll pause it and write it up and then uh, go through it. Right, so I've said as the wire cuts the oh, sort of B field, but magnetic field, a voltage is induced. The cause, this causes the left wing to become positively charged. If the speed increases, the induced voltage increases. You sort of got to put that in because I've said that the speed increases. So the current will flow to the tips as charge separates, so the lamp will momentarily glow, because it will glow for a wee bit. Um, however, and that should be a full hour, a capital H. However, at a constant speed, the charge separation is constant. In other words, you're just going to have one end that's positive, one end that's negative. Thus, no charge will flow, which means the lamp will, won't glow. Um, this setup's only useful to detect the plane's change in speed, not its actual speed. Um, anyway, that's it.